So now we're going to create home ranges using ArcMap. So let me share my screen with you. And the first thing we have to do is open up our catalog and tell it to connect to the folder where we're holding our CSV file. So we navigate to that folder. Then we'll minimize our catalog. We will open up Arc Map. And the first thing we'll do is add in our CSV file by going to this add data icon, this kind of plus, then add data. And we want to make sure we're navigating to that folder connections and that folder that we just connected. Then scroll over to that CSV file that is holding our turtle location. And I had called it turtle location CSV. Then hit add. Nothing pops up yet because ArcGIS needs to know exactly what is the X field and what is the Y field. So we're going to right click on that CSV file in the layer, go to display XY data. So remember again, our latitude longitude, we have to tell ArcGIS which is the X plane and which is the Y plane. And I simplified our data set to make it very easy for you. So just set X to X and Y to Y. For the coordinate system, remember you always need to know what datum your data is based on and has it been projected or not. And we know that ours has been projected into UTMs. So we will open up projected coordinate system till we find UTMs. Now we need to tell it that it came based on the datum of WGS 1984. So we'll open that up. We are in the Northern Hemisphere and we want to project into the 18th zone. So we highlight that and hit OK and OK. So the first thing we'll notice is the data that we're loading in has been projected, but it still needs a unique identification number for every one of those locations. So we are going to have to export this as a layer before we get started with any analysis. So we hit OK. And these are our locations, but we can't analyze it yet. So first we need to export it. So let's right click on events, on our turtle location events, go to data, export data. We want to export all the features in this sources layer. And for the output, we want to save it to that same folder and let's call it turtle underscore export. And so we're saving it as a shapefile. Then hit save and OK. And yes, we want it to pop up as a new layer in our arc map. So yes. Great. And we don't even need this events or the CSV so we can remove these. So we can right click and remove. And that CSV, we can right click and remove. This just cleans up our table of contents. All right, so now we have the locations, but this is all 170 locations of all the turtles. We really are just interested in creating the home ranges of those five turtles. So the home ranges, the MCP, minimum convex polygon. So what is the shape around all the locations where each turtle was? So to do that, we want to open up our toolbox by clicking here at Arc Toolbox. Sometimes that takes a few moments. Then we go to Data Management Tools. Let's open that up. Then let's go to Features and Minimum Bounding Geometry. Let's double click on that. For the input, the data we're inputting is that exported shapefile. Sometimes Arc map is a little slow, I apologize. Then for the output, this is where we want to save the analysis. 
So we click to navigate to our folder and let's save it as turtle underscore arc underscore MCP. Hit save. Now remember, we want to save it as uh, the MCPs for each individual turtle, not for all the turtles together, but for each individual turtle. So we want to make sure we change the group option. So let's hit list so we can select from this group field below. We want to select based on the ID because each turtle is given a unique ID number. We had five different turtles. So by clicking on ID, that means it's going to run the analysis on each turtle individually. For geometry type, let's select convex hull. And let's check this add geometry characteristics. If we want, it doesn't, we don't have to, doesn't really matter, um, that's optional. I'm gonna unclick it to hopefully make things go faster. Then hit okay. And it's going to run that analysis and it will input the final analysis once it's done running. So that'll take a few moments. So I will pause this video until it comes up. All right, so ArcMap has finished the analysis and we see our home ranges for our five individual turtles. And I believe what caused some issues with the long processing time and also these unusually long shapes is I believe in our data set, we had a few um, locations that were not complete. So the data set said NA in some columns and ArcMap didn't know how to accurately calculate the home ranges for those two turtles who had some locations that were NA. So we will explore the data set in a little bit more detail so that we can find those. And I would recommend visually examining all the data before you put them into a GIS of some kind or any other analysis package, because these errors can cause some problems. So at least now you've seen the steps involved in calculating the MCP for our different individuals. So you've seen it now in QGIS, in ArcGIS, and next up we will do it in RStudio. I hope you enjoyed this.